show right now? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's see you talk shit. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm excited because I have no clue what we're talking about, I know. and I've never been interviewed by two females. Ooh. You haven't? No. We're you know what's your weird? Female cherry today. I mean, back when I was in my early 20s, I was interviewed by two females that were morally casual, but interviewed? Like, what do you mean interviewed? Like if my penis was a microphone, uh, okay, they were okay, because that's what I was going to ask. Very different interview. Yeah. So that, here we go. I'm, I'm terrified like, right are now. Are you Why? good? You guys are like staring me down. <laughs> we Look, women. Here's good. the difference between women, though. Women give eye contact when we talk. Yeah, to other guys people. don't do that. Guys like, don't. Really guys intense? are just like ah, yeah. like this. It's terrifying. So it's a respect thing. Congratulations on your show. Thank by you. The way. Thank you. You guys deserve it. You're both fucking hilarious. Jables, I've known you forever. You're an amazing human. And you, you, deserve, you deserve a medal of Ross Patterson Award Jesus. for being married to that dude. Should we talk? I mean, we can talk about that later. That's but okay. I just wanted even... to throw that out there because I love to call, make fun of Ross Patterson. So. <laughs> he had a, you had to did throw that wink, dig in there. Did you wink too. at me just now? Yeah. No. You did the... Was it a wink? Uh, it was, yeah, I, so wink? I have a bad left eye and, and I, I like stretch it sometimes. So when he winks, it's like both eyes at the same I time. It, no, so there's something, everyone. <laughs> and then I make him self-conscious. There's and something, then he does hey, it. Everyone, this is something Matt Best cannot do. His wink well. Wow, that's like one. Oh, oh no. Got a good one. Yeah, I can't, I can't really wink <laughs> with my right tries, eye. I'm, a, I'm an omni winker. The minute you give him shit, what? he does it. <laughs> is that how you work in life? You're no, like, I'm not a winker. I think old creepy dudes that are w- wink are weird. Like when my wife is around me and there's like those old dudes that shot you, they're like, looking pretty good in your Instagram. I'm like, why'd you wink at my fucking... That's when you get choked out. Right? I'm gu- I guarantee right now she's getting all hit on all day long here. She's not here yet. So she's no. not, oh, she's not here yet? I was no. going to ask oh, you. Oh, we were going to no. say, how does that make you feel? Because men are very vocal here is what I'm noticing. They are. It's, it's, it's interesting. Well, especially in Vegas, I think with the international crowd, I think the culture is significantly different as mm-hmm. far as uh, being proper and nice. But uh, <laughs> I do get weird stuff at SHOT Show because people feel like it's a power play and they think it's cool to like just walk up and put their hand around my wife. And I'm like, that's not it's not a thing. Really? Yeah. Like that's face meet before? chin. Yeah. Multiple times at conventions. So that's you, fucking so what do you bold. Do? Are you just, serious? Yeah, I just have a man. I just say, uh, what do I do? Yeah. I'm nice. I said, do you want to die today? Is usually what I say. And they, like, <laughs> they laugh nice. and then I stare at them until they're like, hugs nice with him. you. Yeah. He's like, nice listen, that's the nicest thing I could do in this moment. So what I do you mean, guys, she's fucking sexy though. So She is a very gorgeous woman. Yeah, we'll woman. start off you know, with talking about her? your wife. Yeah. It's really hard. We do really like Noelle. Yeah. And it's really hard to look at her. Um, And not be Like looking at the sun. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I can't. Yeah. She's I love looking. No, I love looking at her. It's like a moth to a flame. Like I, she's she's stunning. She's very gorgeous, and the good thing about her is, I think she has like ugly duck syndrome. So she grew up. She not definitely does. Pretty. So she actually has like a personality, and yep. she's cool. And yeah, then and doesn't is, is think, gorgeous. I don't even think she understands that people look at her, which is no. awesome. Yeah. She's Good like, and I'm bad, just whatever. Right? No, I'm not that pretty. And I'm like, you're, <laughs> you're like, literally dude, every dude's fantasy. You're literally perfect. I stalked you and I have very high taste. Did you? Wait, so now, how did you guys meet? Yeah, no, I want you to talk about your meet cute because it's yeah. so romantic. Matt, Is can it? you tell us about the first time that you met your gorgeous Dick pic Instagram. Wife? No, you did not. No, no, the no. first time you oh, hung out. I was like, how about that? Oh, no. I did meet her on Instagram, though. Okay. So, essentially, uh, she worked for a gun store, and she had bought a shirt from my old Paracom. I think the guys at the store bought it. She was wearing it, and I was scrolling through Instagram. And I was like, who is that? Who is and, that? And this is something I've actually never said publicly, but I'll do it anyways. Uh, I was in a relationship that was almost done. Mm-hmm. It was like, we're parting ways. And uh, I, I looked over. I do a really good impression of that. Person, really? But I'm not. I would never. <laughs> Come on. Uh, off air. No, you can't. Off air. I can't. Okay. Can't okay so later. But let me, let me paint the picture here. So I'm sitting there, and I look over. Noelle's Instagram's on her phone, and she's scrolling through it. Oh, and what? I was like, "Hi!" Uh, and there's no sexual conversation. It was merely no, no. 100% platonic at this point. Yeah. And I was like, "How do you?" No, Ugh. there's photo thing. Who huh. Noel? How'd you know her? And she's like, <laughs> "Oh, she liked one of your photos or something." And that's <gasps> what you'd say. That's what happened. What's your impression? Oh, the impression of the girl. Yeah, yeah. It's more towards me, but I guess I'll do it to her. Okay. Oh my god, she's so good looking. You're such a fucking bitch. You're so pretty, you bitch slut. I hate you. You're awesome. Is that good? That was really good. That was good, right? Wow. That's so like really good. Every time I see her, and that's why I'm talking shit because she, I have, Look, re- she, I have a good friendship with her now, and that's why I was saying I didn't want to do the impression. I think I want to say that she would think it was funny. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure, but I know you guys are cool. Hey, at least we still cool. follow each other. Like 
she's she's totally fine. Yeah, having Looks kid like number two. Congratulations, yeah. healthy, happy family. I'm stoked for her. Yes. But yeah, and then I met Noelle, and then I um, tried to put my penis inside her, and then you know, love was had. So when That's they one. the first time they hung out, yeah. Um, <laughs> let's hear it. Now, did she was that the first literal day? When you guys, you guys were doing out? episode 100 of Drinking Bros? No, that was her second time we'd met. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, so, no, no I no, met no, her on no, my no. birthday in October, and then we oh. went to do episode 100, which we obviously narrated people having sex. And it was the second day I'd <laughs> oh, ever been yeah. on it. And I was like, hey, so uh, <laughs> I got this like podcast thing, and I'm going to watch two people fucking narrate it. And she's and the like, the girl was there. What is hanging she? Out. The guy's Wait, there. No, I was out. there. Yeah, Noel yeah. was with me, like okay. at the Airbnb. So this was your guys' second date. Second time we'd ever second met. Second date. Yeah, and and she just looked at me. What was your guys' first date? Uh, we literally just sat in bed and laughed our asses off and talked shit to each other. Okay, it was great. So yeah, so those she, are the well, she times. she lived in a different state, so okay. she would come out for like two or three days. But she was cool about episode one hundred. Was, was she? Super I was going to ask. I how think she was that was a that. good yeah. trial by fire, right? And we talked about this with your good friend Jared last mm-hmm. time he was on. Was like. If a girl can handle that, and I think a lot right. of the guys' like biggest pet peeve is if they can't get along with your friends and your Agreed. group because they're very important to you, right? Well, she said something that really stuck in my head because it's like, so you're cool with that? She's like, it's not like you're going to join in. And I love that because I was like, okay, you see the difference between entertainment and all yes. that. And I know there's some blurry lines and obviously like we've figure out boundaries as you go forward with things but like entertainment and a job's a job within reason sure it can be too much of an excuse sometimes that i've probably done and i'm sure other people have done but <laughs> oh i've had uh, many conversations yeah, we have, yeah, we have excuses about and like things. and new boundaries come up every time where you're like right. yeah. okay well now we can't well, do that you all right so we're having a blowjob <laughs> yeah. competition and we're gonna have this girl okay, blow- <laughs> so new rule no sex no. in front of people okay? yeah like yeah it, it, you know and that's such an old episode i'm not into that anymore i'm like trying to like you know um, oh i know Trying to clean it up. Grow a up bit. a little bit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. As I'm drinking beer at 2 p.m. <laughs> hey, it's five o'clock somewhere. Well, Something we're like that. really yeah. happy yeah, that yeah. you're here. A lot of the broettes um, think Crush, that you have. Like you. No, no, no. They think he has, like, I think they like your hair. They like my wife. They like the your hair. Group, which I'm in the broette group, and I love trolling them because, like, I'm one of, like, three males in there. And yeah, I think so I'm the only male in broette fitness. The are only you? dude. Yeah. Oh, really? They get excited when you comment. I know yeah. that one time some one of the wives said that her husband got your book, was super excited, and you said, hey, thanks. And they were all like, oh, my God, he replied to me. <laughs> <laughs> they're cool, man. Yeah, I love no, they're the awesome. praises are awesome. I've been wanting to do this thing in drinking bro at fitness where I dress in a wig and then I talk about my body image issues or something where I'm like, I'm a little thick. What do you guys think? And that's not a knock on anybody. I'm yeah, just yeah, saying yeah. like to pretend like I'm a girl that yeah. wants advice, but I'm just in drag. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've done, like, a few, don't know. you've done drag videos in the past. I've dressed With up a lot. Yeah. You and Derek yeah. did that CrossFit one. Yeah. And I remember seeing that one. I was like, this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I love Derek Wyda. He's one yeah, of my favorite. Yeah, he was on movies. yesterday with us. He's yeah. the time. That's why I texted Ross. I was like, Derek's on there? I Derek's wanna... on? Yeah. I have to be on. And you guys are very in touch with your emo side, which we like. Where are you? Yes. <laughs> and you guys were both. So long. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a beer talk. You guys were both <laughs> little good. emo kids. Wait, kinda. you were too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I played bass in an emo band. I had long yeah. black hair that went across my face. Do you have pictures of that I still? I sure do. Oh, yeah. in my book, wow. actually. I outed it's myself. It's in the book. Are they? Did you put pictures in no, the book cool. of that? It's, yeah. all, it's a picture book because yeah. I can't write. Oh, sure, sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you, how did you get started with everything? So you, I know, I think you kind of started with YouTube, right? Yeah, I literally just started making stupid videos to make a couple people laugh. I never set out for any of this, and I think that that's probably why I've been somewhat grounded in all of it is I never wanted fame. I actually am a super big introvert. Mm-hmm. I don't really like people, which is crazy. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I just started doing stupid stupid Facebook and uh, YouTube videos to make like two friends laugh, two turn into 10, 10 turn into 100, 100 turn into you know, a million. So it was a wild, wild ride. But What was the first video that you ever did? It was a... Uh, champagne facebook problems i was, was in iraq it? at the time and like logged in and everybody's bitching about their stupid first world problems and mm-hmm. i was like shut up it can always be worse you know and then you just made a video just made a stupid song on a mac just like that and published it and got like 
a thousand views and i was like i'm famous wow yeah at the time that's a big that was a big deal yeah of course it, it's so fun like i think it's funny because we we're talking about mcgregor earlier but that like initial kind of projection into somewhat of people caring about what you do because mm-hmm. prior to that it was like three people and it was like my mom my brother that would like a post and then all of a sudden you have these strangers that are engaging with the brand and a personality that you're putting out and you can kind of define that through content and i thought it was such an interesting thing to like do because i'm like man as this grows you have the ability to influence and persuade Mm -hmm. people hopefully in the better and create a culture around a movement and i think that's what's kind of like made me like super amped to keep doing this stuff because i fucking hate being the public like i hate fucking having to post this and that like really? i'm terrible i post like once a month on instagram because i just well, sure. like look here's me in my safe and i just i, I don't know it's, it's it's hard for me to get grip on it but when you realize people care and what you guys are doing with your show it's cool because mm-hmm. it's like you can you can make a difference in someone's lives so you don't like being in the public eye but no. you are though like i mean that's kind of your world right now right you have an interesting yeah. uh you, yeah relationship yeah. with social media right yeah yeah where you're it's just a love, like hate relationship hey i want you to recognize me but don't look but at me. Don't. Or turn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of. I know, right? it, 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 right? Look at me or talk to me. But you better fucking know who I am. That's yeah. the, you know that's the satire in sense. No, but it's super true, right? Because it's like somebody like, well, why would you post shit? And then I'm no, out there like, hi, I'm Matt Best. Yeah. Eat <laughs> my dick, you fucking. And you're like, yeah. and then and then hi. in that in the antithesis of that is my statement saying like, I don't like to be in the public eye. And you're I like, know, okay, but you just got a hundred million views in this fucking video talking shit and stirring the pot. That's a lie. But it's I, hard but, because yeah. no, I get you know it. it's good for business. I have the same relationship. I do not have anywhere near your following, but I have the same relationship where I know it's good for business, but I don't love it. Right. Yeah. So I would like say I would have, I would have ate a pistol a long time ago. I probably would blow my head off if I didn't have art. Like I truly believe that because I have this like weird, like dark passenger in my side, like my stomach that like makes me want to do really dumb shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the only way I've learned to control it is through music, art and content. And yeah. so having the ability to like plan and put passion into like the short film that I'm about to release in like a month that stuff saves my life. So it's like this weird relationship I yeah. have with like the process of creating things is the most enjoying thing I've ever done in my life. But then after I publish it, the I don't really fun. care what it does yeah. and like who yeah. sees it. It was just that that learning experience and the process is like what's so fun. But subsequently it's gives you more viewers and you know, a little bit of fame like not that's fame. I'm a YouTuber. It's like how many people no, I mean, recognized famous. you on the way I was going to say zero. Matt, bullshit. stop Zero. it. You're bullshit. Not one person in the Bellagio. What? And I even we're yelled, my name's Matt walk. Best. I'm the New York Times bestseller. No one cares. I feel like we need to walk around making it like, this is Matt I Best. Do, no, I just walk around shot show looking for badges. I'm like, hey, yeah. hey shot show, huh? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, black Rabbit Coffee, Matt Best. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Like, what? And they look at me. Thank you for my... Thank you for my... No? Okay. I like Black Rifle too. But you do... I Well, when we were at... When your book signing, you had... I mean, four or five hour lines, though, of people waiting to talk to you. Yeah, and it's, it's wild. have you signed your book and everything? So are you still used to that? Or is this something you're becoming? Is it still surprising to you? They're like, yeah. why do people want to? The book success meet surprised me. me. I, I think that consistently the input of this community is. is you get so absorbed, and I'm sure you guys too, in like metrics and analytics. You're like, oh, a million views, whatever. Like that, that's like. It's like not fucking 20 stadiums full of people. Like, yeah, it's when you really put it in perspective, right? You're like 100%. Yeah. And then when you actually do events like the book signings and like my like the San Antonio one, I think 4,000 people showed up and you walk in there and they're like, it's that realization moment. Like, you're here for me? Like, I'm a fucking yeah. idiot. <laughs> like, fucking, why are you here? Yeah. But then it's like that whole thing about people get their experience with you. And it, it's fun, man. I enjoy it, but hate it at the same time. Do you know what imposter syndrome is? No, I don't. Uh, so it's this thing, Theo Vaughn talks about it and I feel like I have it sometimes, but, uh, I don't even know. Cause you know, I'm at this level of fame that it goes so full circle <laughs> that nobody actually knows where, like who I am. Who we are. I'm that super famous. You're right? that yeah, good. Yeah. 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 I'm that good. So I don't really handle it. I don't really have it, but it's this thing where you, people put you on such a pedestal that you feel like an imposter, almost like, why are they interesting? Do you know what I mean? And you kind of, like I said, Theo Vaughn does it where you kind of feel like, I feel like there's no way that they are here for just who I am. I have to be like more than that. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's this thing that people deal with. Imposter syndrome. I like that a lot. Yeah. I think that's, 
I think there's certain not people- that you are, but that you no, feel no, like I have there's the same no feelings. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, it, that's a great thing. I think like fame does weird things to people. I think certain people go out to be famous because they want the limelight. Yeah, yeah, and they, want and the they love and the money, it, and and they can handle it. Like it's crazy to me. Yeah, I mean, I I've been offered thousands and thousands of dollars to public speak and i just don't like public speaking because i don't no, want to be the really? dude standing there I and talking. i think it. well i think you'd be so great at it though that's the surprising thing i i i can't say what it is but a very special military unit uh-huh. um has probably requested me to speak at one of their uh engagements and wow. it would be a true true blessing and an honor and obviously doing it for free but like sure that would be I was like, because I was talking to my so wife. So that was about the it. one that you were like, I, was like, I man, do. I don't want to do it. And then, and then I was like, man, I'm gonna. I always, I call it the orca whale syndrome because when I was five years old, my biggest regret ever. It's crazy. Uh, Shamu, the real Shamu. <laughs> no shit, the real Shamu. Real regrets here. Come on. The fucking, you know the. Okay, everybody, <laughs> yeah, clap yeah, your yeah. hands. <laughs> Who wants to see Shamu? Look at this little guy. Come oh on, my gosh, down. I was like, be awesome. no, daddy, no. And I fucking didn't do it. And the other kid got a pet Shamu. And then certain people go. <laughs> Well, you could have got eaten. Well, you didn't because calculated right, risks in life it. promote success and great memories. And I didn't do the Shamu pet. I didn't get a pet Shamu. Holy so I'll never you fucking. Regret it. I, oh, only yeah. regret I have. Yeah. So as an adult now, I'm like, well, I will so regret if I got invited to such a I'm honor. Call yeah, it that from now on, an, the yeah. Shamu syndrome. Sa- Shamu. Well, I also feel like if this doesn't work too. out, you can. So if they still have Sea Worlds, I'm sure they won't in like I five like years. But I feel like that's a great thing. It's just like I feel you. It's like the hand on the orca whale. Not his Sea World experience. Like Full fun. circle. Shamu. Okay, everybody, yeah. you're really good at that. What's that Leona song? I see, or the Avatar one? That was terrible singing. No, that was good. Keep no, going. it was gorgeous. No, I don't, I don't no that was great. No, we didn't get it. A couple more bars. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just a couple more. No. Um, Let's talking? get into some broette stuff. I have been through a couple gals with you so i know you i would mm. rephrase that no a listen little bit. <laughs> listen oh i've just God. known you for a couple what? i've known you for six years right oh, okay, okay couple uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, like yeah. i've known you single with yeah. people with different people married blah 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 yep so a lot of things in the broettes is they're just so confused why a guy like just all of a sudden stops being into them mm-hmm. like out of nowhere we asked your good friend jared this the whole well, ghost which i'll thing. tell you a uh, weird thing that we got ourselves into with jared later okay. but um <laughs> finding him a girlfriend by his birthday yeah interviewing her bless finding soul, him right? yeah exactly we'll get some <laughs> input soul. on what you think but is there one thing that you can remember back when you were single that like if a girl you're totally into him just this one thing that if a girl did this one thing or whether it's like got really drunk yeah. one time and was stupid, it was it no wasn't, more. So that I think, you I think, would I think just that's turn. A, it's a super super loaded question because uh, you know I I actually have done therapy before just because I like to learn. I'm a huge guy in psychology. Like I love that shit because figuring Good out yourself you. and having emotional yeah. intelligence I think is for the most sure. important thing you can do. The problem with a lot of people is because they it's like the social media syndrome. They they pretend that there's some version of themselves that they're not to kind of lure you in, okay. and then once they get comfortable, they bounce. Yeah, and I think. You know, I think girls have certain aspects of them that are like challenging to date, and then men have those aspects. Sure. And I think a lot of men are are definitely sex oriented, and they'll, they'll they're just trying to get their dick wet, right? And right. so if he bangs you and doesn't want to talk to you, he literally just wanted to see what That's you feel it. like, right? That, but we're I talking think about we know, relationship right? relationship but, but, stuff, though. Where for sure, but like, like if someone just ghosts you out of nowhere, I mean, oh, they, for sure. they probably found someone else, or, no. or unless you did something yeah, really yeah, stupid, yeah. but yeah. There's obviously a so, bigger issue than that because a lot of people lie to their their partner and they're not like yeah, transparent yeah, yeah. about resentment. Yeah. It builds over years yeah. and then they just fucking bounce. Yeah. What are some reasons why you have broken up with girls before? And do you have one that's like that you feel is really petty? Deal breaker. I don't know. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I don't no, do you have a deal breaker Matt, list? <laughs> because um, Jared has a deal breaker list kind of, right? There's like yeah. certain things like if you can't get along with my ex-wife. Like, that's part of my life. Right, you're, right, right. You're gone. Don't get along you can't get along with, with my friends. Matt, my friends. You're not used you're to gone. going in this aspect. So. Yeah, I would say. If you're I, a bad drunk. I've, I've if been, you yeah, are, you're a bad right. drunk. You're sloppy. Mean, like, stuff like sloppy, that. Sloppy, so. yeah. Um, yeah, I don't like lying. That's like a big one for me. Like, when I catch people in like little white lies, mm-hmm. then I'm like, well, what else what are you else? lying okay. about? Like, everybody yeah. lies to maybe benefit themselves in some regard or another, but. Um, it's hard because a lot of relationships, I've actually been kind of the uh, the guy that's fucked up a lot of it as far as you know not necessarily like loyalty i just been like 
squirreled and I was young, right? And I think that's why like marriage has been pretty good to me these days. Is because you learned a lot. Yeah, I got a, I got a decent yeah. head on my got shoulders. Your I'm, st- I'm still hard to fucking yeah. Sure. <laughs> I got no. I'm the same way though. Like I had to practice marriage under my belt, and then yeah. the second one's like, okay, cool. Like sometimes you, you need a ra- like run down into <laughs> Vegas and <laughs> show everybody your tadpoles. You know, there you go. Every single one indiscriminately. <laughs> Would you like that's a like semen for joke? Everyone, people. Oh, okay. Yeah, what do like you think it semen. was? I don't know. Oh. I thought it was a fun joke that you guys, a fun time you guys had together. <laughs> Tad, no, tadpoles, tadpoles in tadpoles the Bellagio fountain. Sperm. I don't like know tadpoles. what happened. I've Jesse. never given tadpoles in the Bellagio fountain. <laughs> I'm, an, <laughs> I'm an outsider. I don't even like Vegas. Does, you pulled a Tiffany right there. Does, I know. Like, so are you saying typically you're the one who's broken up with them? No, no. Oh, okay. I'm very convincing in my argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I've just had weird relationships. I've actually only been in about four real relationships in my whole entire life. And um, one person I dated was absolutely phenomenal. I was just kind of young and stupid, and we wouldn't have worked out. I'm a little too crazy for her, but phenomenal to this day. Love her family. Love her. Um, And then two of the other ones just didn't work based off of, like, completely different people. Okay. You know, I mean, one of them is a terrible person, but not the one you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. she's not bad, but. No. No, I think the biggest thing with relationships for me is like, why do people, and this is a question for you guys, why do okay. motherfuckers go scorched earth? I've never got that because what do you mean? I've yeah. never disliked someone more than I've dated than, than one point in my life and I, other than this a little bit. But when I walked away, I was just like, I wish her the best. I wish her happiness because I didn't provide that for her, even though I could say all the bad things and why I think she's a shit person. but. Yeah. I don't wish will Ill, Ill will on that. It's like the social media thing. Everybody has to make someone else look bad to make themselves look good. Well, it's like, and that re- yeah. yeah, it's quite possible that both of you are okay humans. Yeah, and you just You're didn't just work out. Didn't exactly. Work out. And guess what? Your friends can still be friends with them and move. It's like I fucking hate that stuff. Oh, and so you're saying that you see people out there going, "Hey, we just broke up. I'm gonna make this person look like shit." Yeah, on screenshots. Media now. I see a lot in the in, in groups too, and they're we just like. Fuck this, pe- and it's like, dude, wow. what does that do? What is, because, what is that? I mean, I think it I just think hits on people's insecurities, through. right? Because yeah. Jared was kind of talking about this too. Like, every he's like, why can't I just like, if I say, or if a girl says to him, like, I don't want to be with you anymore. I don't think it's working out. Better. I'm gonna go. He's like, cool. Like, wish you well. If he does it the other way, you're in a fight for a fucking day. They're texting you, da da da. They're like why putting stuff out me? on the internet. Yeah. But um, but he's also it, emotionally broken. So I mean. <laughs> oh, I know. Like I'm not comparing you I'm guys kidding. at all, I'm for kidding. sure. But um, I think we're all emotionally broken in some ways. But yeah, yeah, well, for sure. Well, accepting that you're not enough for somebody is one of the hardest things to do in your life. But like, or just the, that you that could aren't be right. It. It's not even well, necessarily that you aren't. Rejection enough. is fucking brutal. And that's the thing. Sure. I think it is. It boils down to you were rejected, and yeah. you yeah. F- you're you're sitting and there so you going, you don't them. want to admit there's something wrong with you. So it's so much easier to point the finger at someone else and go, "You're the one with the black eye. You're the fucking problem." And I'm gonna tell the whole world about it. One hundred percent. Because I'll I'll be honest with myself. When I got a divorce, it and it it didn't end great. And while there was a lot of issues on his end, right, like kind of why some things that end it. And I could totally be bitter with him about it. Later on, I had to look back at myself and go, dude, I fucked up a lot of shit. Yeah. It wasn't just him. It was both of us. There were so many things that I could do better. And later on, like, we, we know we're fine. We wish each other well, whatever. But it happens. Well, that's a, that's a good point. I think the best thing with all of this, it's like when you walk away, no matter how bad someone is, like, why break them down? Because they're essentially yeah. winning that fight. If anything, you should take away the things you could have done better. Yes. Even if they're small and microscopic, you could still go... You know, I guess I could have been a little more transparent before I went to bed and like let them know I was safe or whatever the fucking yeah. stupid case is and yeah, bed yeah. yourself because guess what? You're going to land someone way more fucking rad down the road. Absolutely. Well, that's actually yeah. what we did after the divorce. We sat down and then we both went, hey, what are some things you think I can bring into my next relationship? No joke. That's insanely that's that, mature, though. Well, I mean, we did because yeah, yeah. We, we knew it was coming for a bit. And it was one of those things where he was like, hey, I'm just going to let you know. And I'm saying it for myself, too, that he's like, I'm going to he did the white lie thing. And then it turned into huge lies and major lies. Right. And he's like, I'm not going to lie. I was like, don't, because like you are an amazing guy. And that was like the biggest reason why we couldn't really be together anymore. And then for me, I was like, right. I'm going to control like my anger and try to be more loving towards men. I, I right? love what you said. And I got to give fucking Jared a shout out, man, like for sure on this, because what he's done and bear with me no, takes a lot me. of no. fucking yeah. courage, man, because what he does he is so open and transparent about who he is day yeah. one. 
where he wasn't that way when he got married the first time. Exactly. He was like, oh, I can be a husband. And then he's fucking everything that walks. And yeah. now he's like, this is who I am. And mm-hmm. it takes such courage to do that. And I think those white lies, what a lot of people do is like monogamy works for me. Guess what? It's 2020. You don't have to be monogamous. If you want to have an open relationship, you can yeah, find that for you. partner. Yeah. But don't lie to the girl that just wants one dude. Correct. Yeah. You know, like for and, what? And we all go through our fucking transgressions. I'm not saying I'm fucking perfect, but like throughout my life. But yeah, just like be open and honest. Like that's the biggest thing. Cause then, yeah. Like maybe your chick likes threesomes too, and you can go have fun. I don't exactly. fucking know. Well, what Jared what Jared said was that military people get married very quickly, and if you're the we single course. guy, then you like are kind of the odd man out. So you just sort of grab whatever yeah, is I never there. Got married so in the that military, so you didn't. No, no, it was my and, first marriage. Yeah, uh, I think everybody I thought, knew I, that you were like everybody thought you were, I was married. Well, not you even engaged, engaged, but you rushed into. Were you engaged? Sometimes people rushed into, into relationships in the military, Mil- living sometimes. together or something. In the military, you like lived with someone or something no. like this. No, not in the military. Was everybody else, but you weren't. Uh, for the most part, yeah. And I took my just... job a little serious, and so like okay. I, I remember this one time I was dating an Air Force chick, and uh, she was oh, overseas. Oh, you like the Air Force girls? Yeah, she was security <laughs> forces. How to shit? I was I had wow. a lot of accolades in that deployment. Okay. But I remember one day I'm flying out to go hit a target, and I'm the team leader, right? Uh-huh. Like oh, the assault team leader, and I'm thinking about like pussy and all these things on the flight to my objective and I oh, like shit. snap myself out. I'm like this is Bro. really bad for Bro. me because yeah. I'm like this is why I broke up with every girl before I went overseas because I didn't want to think about her at the club yeah. or going out and yeah, then yeah, yeah. not being mission focused and getting my dudes dead so no killed. that makes so, complete sense yeah that, I, I literally did not have a relationship when I was in range of time that's smart I mean you do what you have to do I know in certain training like in PJs and CCT yeah. training they tell you to stay away from girls and alcohol and just this shit like stay away from that while you're going through training because just have your head on straight and focus on it because that's anytime guys have gotten kicked out or failed it's because of that oh 100 right? percent booze booze and alcohol i mean shit i told you age. i think that i stayed celibate during my when i went i mean seer is nothing compared to what you guys do but our seer training was difficult right Super difficult, for yeah. us to go through and i didn't want to get shit for being one of the only girls so i just didn't touch a guy i didn't look at a guy i didn't want them to think anything of me so it's easier that way because yeah. you can focus on it. Well, being a, 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 an attractive woman in the military is, a, is a, an absolute difficult thing. I, Have you seen that a lot yourself? Uh, like in, in what regard? Because you say it, so I mean. Well, because you guys, you know, locker room talk, and guys are sure. guys, and it's like when you have a testosterone filled room in Iraq, and you got like fucking thirty fucking pipe hitters that are jacked and twenty five right? years old, full of testosterone, yeah. and like. A girl walks in. Like, huh, Doesn't huh, matter, huh, like huh, attractive huh. or whatever. Oh like, no, yeah, it's girl. deployment. Well, lot, you got know? the yeah. desert. What they, <laughs> Listen, if I was what a chick, I would, desert I would, queens or something, or what do they call it? I mean, name the name. But, yeah. <laughs> I mean, name wait, let me ask name. you this: Is it really true though that like maybe a five in oh, God, in the yes. U.S. is totally maybe a ten? Obviously, over there, one hundred percent. I, and I well, think I'm asking from a guy's perspective. It's right? so funny that girls think that it's offensive. Those statements. I'm like, if I was a chick. And wasn't like genetically blessed or something as the female. I, I w- either way, I would probably just get a job at like the CIA and just go deploy all the time because you'd have like what a what a what a oh. fantasy and an oasis that is. <laughs> like you get to walk out to the gym and there's like 19 oh. shirt, fucking shirtless, right? oiled up dudes with tattoos with that eight packs, and you're like, life's not bad. It's good. For I've the seen a lot of attractive security, men right? on deployments. That's yeah. for sure, and not just from the United States, from many different countries. Oh, of course. Like Australian I mean, special forces. I was like, come to mommy. Like put you that know, accent. No, oh, I like it though. It's clean. Oi. It's clean. Oi. Wait, what Oi. is it? It's kind of Oi, clean. Mate. Clean. I don't know. I can't. Do <laughs> you <laughs> kind of sound like, like Connor that. McGregor. <laughs> McGregor. That's, McGregor. That's that's Ross's. Yeah. Did we talk about? Are you <laughs> jealous that I saw him yesterday? I am. I'm a huge Conor McGregor fan. Have you haven't met him yet. No, I'm a Cowboys Throne fan too, so it was a hard fight to watch. Oh, but. were you here for the fight? No, I was at home. I flew out the next day. Okay. I don't watch fights anymore. I went to the one fight, uh, Eddie Alvarez versus Conor McGregor in Madison Square Garden yeah, yeah. with Ross for the yeah. when we did the book stuff, and uh, I'm good. You're good. One Is it done. just like You're so fine. fucking long? Is it just a lot? <laughs> Yeah. There's just There's fuck so tons many. of people, and yeah. like you're watching the fight. Unless you have like you know front front row, we still have you really good seats. Much. You're looking at the teleprompter, mm. and I'm essentially watching it. And then there's no narration. And God bless Joe Rogan. Like I love him calling the fights because it's way more interesting. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like he's cranking his neck, and then you hear some crazy move that he's sure. doing. So, yeah, I'm good. I'll watch it at home. Who's the most popular person that you have? Like not popular. Who's the most famous person that you've met, or like one that you're most proud of that you like? Jesse Wiseman. Besides me. <laughs> 
Oh, we always try to help. Hello, hello, hello. She's getting. I like how I have meetings for the next ten hours, and I am getting fucked up right now. Do you? Like these two beers off my hand. Are they so happy that you are? Because know, like, I'm an open book. Because we're gonna keep asking you more questions. Please do. I I enjoy. Wait, this. he dodged that one though. I would you the ask? most famous. I don't know. I'll tell you what. I, Who I, uh, are you most proud of that you've met that you're like this person's fucking awesome. Like I can die happy knowing I met them. Anyone? Um, I'm I'll, sure I'll go, I'll go to a twofold in there. One of them will be kind of a Pinterest uh, answer. One will be really obscure. I would say being intertwined in the military community and being able to meet dudes like Clint Romache, yeah. Dakota Meyer, like fucking legends in the game that are just normal dudes. And you see it's so inspirational for me because everybody puts these dudes on pedestals and you look at like any of those guys. They're just fucking normal dudes, mm -hmm. but they did like exceptional things. And I think that through the community is what's like fucking truly motivated me to like look at a dude like Clint Romache and be like that dude just like for sure was like, I'm going to go kill myself trying to buy you guys some time and somehow yep. live through it after being wounded and all these things. The story is incredible. And so th those for me are the most impactful because I give a fuck about fame and people that are like, oh, I'm a movie star. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're playing a fucking fake Medal of Honor recipient. Like, how about the real dude yeah. is the fucking gangster? Second part of that question, Tommy Emanuel. The reason I started playing guitar, Steve Ray Vaughan and Tommy Emanuel. Oh, really? Really? Greatest classical guitar player of all time. Where'd you meet him? Did you interview yeah. him? It was in an airport. Okay. And I was so nervous, I didn't even ask him for a photo because I told you I was like, "That's that's, that's Tommy Emmanuel." And Jared's like, "Who?" I'm like, "He goes like, <laughs> you know, he just blanked." Yeah, I, I never. So what did you I, say to him? Did you just... I just walked up and I was like, Hi, "I'm Matt. I started playing guitar because your stuff." And he was like, "Thank you so much." I was like. <laughs> and then it's like locked <laughs> off. So I was super uncomfortable. And you're like, but he had no clue because like at that point it was like Shasha? two years ago. Black yeah, Shasha, yeah. Was, Matt, Matt Besson. Matt Breast. Or, Best. Or, so, uh, sorry, <laughs> but it's okay if you don't yeah. know me. But like, me. look me up or don't. Or don't, <laughs> don't look me up. Like, I mean, don't look me up. That's crazy. Well, it's awkward because I posted two covers, the only covers on my Instagram of uh, it's like this blues so thing he does. Da -da 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 That's the yeah. whole reason. It's a cover of his. People think I I made that up. I didn't. It's Tommy Emanuel. Look him up. <laughs> Look him up. Yeah, that's awesome though that he I inspired you. You got to this meet is him. Great, you guys you get, get drunk, what? Matt. I know. You're what? We're getting you get drunk, drunk, Matt. Tonight. Matt. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you gonna go hard um, out here while you're in Vegas? No, God, no. No, it's Vegas no. though. Oh yeah, you accidentally got hung over well, last gonna, night, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you this right yeah, now. Jared happens, was standing but... by this window, yeah. right, and he was looking out and he was recalling everything that you guys have done, like. Oh, we did this here and that there and that there. Like, do you look at Vegas and see the same thing, or do you come here and go, "Oh my gosh, I don't know if I no. like this place." No, that's why I like really not going to the shot show floor. Like, God bless everybody that's there, and I love the community, but we're just chilling. I don't. Vegas is not my my jam. This is yeah. my jam. Has it ever been? Yeah. No, 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 never. I've never once been like, "Let's go to Vegas with the boys." No, I think you must. You much rather are in say, my what? experience, yeah. just like a couple people. We can get wasted, but you oh, just want yeah, like I'll a couple drunk. like close friends, yeah, and like chilling at your house. You're drinking just juice and like in a bed. Low calorie you soda. Well, you know I, I have an like, alcohol <laughs> alarm. Turn down for what? You know Listen. I have an alcohol alarm. Yeah, that oh, really? goes off at 4:30 p.m. We're every day, ourselves. and I cannot drink before <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah, I made. Oh, he, just, he just made the alarm go off. Jesse, yeah, drink your greens. Would you like some? It's almost there, right? I think it was like two thirty or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's one twenty. Fuck me. Don't you guys have the uh, <laughs> shit? I, yeah, you're, you're good. Bro. You said, hey, you said good, two bro. earlier, and I was like, I'm not gonna let him know that it's actually I know, much earlier. Well, it's good. I have a meeting at three. Right? I gotta yeah. keep up, and I'm doing. I'm helping host a charity event tonight. So. I was gonna ask, what oh, are yeah, you guys doing tonight? Because aren't you guys doing the? Uh, isn't there like a black and tan event? Black and tan, which is the uh, Ranger get together here at Shot Show. Mm -hmm. It's main organization, um, and black and tan stands for the old black braids that we used to have before oh. the. Um, army got all black berets and ranger of time was like fuck you we're going tan, tan berets and so to, to distinguish themselves differently but yeah uh, black rifle we donated a bunch of stuff um to them tonight because we're going to raise some money for charity i love that shit awesome um are you still in touch with the ranger community a lot and like a lot of your buddies from back in the day yeah i'm 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 that's like, how long you been out fuck from ranger battalion 11 years hey, really yeah um, but no, yeah, I still talk to a bunch of my team leaders. We get along great. I think the biggest uh, scary moment for me was when the book came out. I was like, I wonder how like my teammates are going to receive this. And mm -hmm. I, I wrote it in obviously in a way that I was like, I hope they really respect it. And I've gotten multiple texts from former team leaders that were with me and 
love the book, love the style of it. And it, it was, it was a very humbling, cool moment to know that they still reconnect with me. And a couple of them have yes. podcasts. I've been on those for them and uh, they're great dudes. And I, I was stoked because the last thing I ever wanted to be is like, fuck that dude. He lied. And like a lot of them recalled some of the stories and we're like, yeah, but do you remember when this happened? I'm like, oh shit, that would have been funny. I just was, put in there, I'm a drunk totally idiot forgot. and I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the seals get a lot of shit for doing books and movies all the time. So I'm just curious to see how it was with yours and your community and it's good that they were pretty well, positive about it. I think it's, it's it. all about approach, right? And I, sure. think, I think if you actually read the book and understand what it's about, it's such a satirical approach to the military experience. Mm-hmm. And yes, Instead of it, being boastful or Yeah, there's some boastful stuff broken. in there where I'm like, oh, I'm the best shot left-handed and that kind of shit. Uh-huh. But like, I would hope and what I think a lot of people got the tonality of it was I'm just like a young kid trying to figure out my life and want to serve his country. And I wasn't the best operator. I wasn't the best ranger. I wasn't. I was just a dude trying to be the best version of himself and mm-hmm. fucking fight for his country. And I think that came through, hopefully. What made you even want to write the book? Like, did someone tell you? Like, you definitely need to write a book, dude. You're well, fucking Ross entertaining. Well, Ross will say it was his idea. But no, I... Uh, <laughs> did, I was he'll, it? He'll say everything's his idea. Was, <laughs> I wanted... No, no, no shit. So... Th- Interesting you asked that. I wrote the Bremen Barraza story when my team leader and squadron got killed. I wrote it in 2010. Mm-hmm. I wrote the whole thing because I was like super vivid in my memories only a couple years ago. And I was like, I never want to forget the way I felt because you can look back and, you, and your brain makes you remember things in a different way or different emotions yeah. and how you we were feeling. And I was like, I don't remember how fucking fucking shitty that was. And so I, I wrote that and then I actually pitched a book idea in like... 2014 to my uh one of my good friends from santa barbara his dad's an author and he was like you can never get a book done you know it's so hard to do an autobiography and i was like yeah but i feel like it'd be interesting yeah then i went and lived some more life and then when i met ross i think we're his drink bros episode i was like i want to write a book and he was like fucking i got you Let's and then he do made, it. i gotta give it to ross he made the connections with my agent um nils parker who i truly believe the most credit goes out of all three of us mm-hmm. to Niels, what he did for that book um so yeah, it worked out. It worked out great. It was, it was a cool experience, but that's so awesome. Who's your favorite porn star? Oh, God, here we go. I think you've said this before, right? Yeah, I want to know who was it. I don't. I don't like follow porn stars. No, not follow, but like if you if you're watching porn and I don't you kind of want to find like if you have a go to Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee on the boat. Are you being serious right now? No, I don't watch that. I, I was just, gonna say no. I don't. I actually don't know any porn star names. I'm not kidding. I like just go like. Double penetration and click to the cool. What about part? like Bonnie Rotten or something? Don't you sure. like her? Sure. Why so, not her? Well, Works for well, me. The only reason why we ask is so let's she's say her favorite porn. No, no, no. Star he's on. not favorite. It's the one that I've watched a few wait, times. Do, and wait, hold on. Do too. girls have fucking like famous dude porn stars like Peter North? Like God, I love the amount of I, I shoes. don't. Mine are girls, but no, hers. She has one. I have, I have one video that I like. It's two guys and a girl. Okay. And I talked about on one time on Drinking Bros. Yeah. Right? And I all watched, I knew is Let's like, get into it. I watched the weirdest porn. Do you? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Me too. Watch. I go she down. fucking yes. made me look at I watch shit that I will never. Po- like I've been shit. watching porn. I'm like, it's a threesome. It's like two girls or two dudes and a girl. I'm like, oh, that's fun. And then like the dude starts sucking dick. I'm like, I'm going to switch off this <laughs> one for a little bit. You know? But I think. So what do you watch then? Like, what's your flavors? Or do you do anything? Will uh, you go down any rabbit hole? That's what I do. I'll kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. follow I'll, I'll, anything. I'll pretty much watch anything yeah. for the most part. Yeah. Um, I think, like, but porn is like a fantasy. I think I watch more stuff than I'd be willing to do an uh-huh. actual person. But, like, that's same. how I feel. Yeah. Like, if, if you want me to watch missionary sex and try to get off watching porn, it ain't going to happen. It's like, not going to happen. got to be taking the, the poop, pooper shoot. Totally. You know? Lots of butt stuff. Or yeah. three people at least you, in there, yeah. mix mm-hmm. and match, you know? Yeah. You know, maybe watch like a tranny fuck a chick and then you're just confused. You're like, she's got tits <laughs> totally. and a dick and, and a banging dick. a chick. Yeah. You're like, this is confusing, but I like it. I think it. we talked about with Derek. Um, Urethra fucking? Oh yeah, because girl, no. urethra. Have nah. you ever? Go- no, I've seen that with girl. They- people. Have you seen it? I've seen it, but it's it's where gnarly. they they fuck the re- urethra the with a, a dildo right in the urethra of the dude. No, I haven't Have seen, seen those that? ones. I'm talking about the. I haven't seen the guy ones. I'm talking about the girl no, ones. The girl. Oh, like- I saw that one time. Someone sent it to me. It was a dude getting a dildo, a dildo? in his dick hole, and it's what? so weird. It's like yeah, I'd watch it. Yeah, and you're watching. You're like. What? I just because I'm like, fascinated. Like, how would that feel good? Like, I've got a Q-tip Ooh. up there when I was, like, in my 20s oh getting my run off the range for, you know, an STI check. And you're like... Oh, is that is that what happens with an STI check? Back in the day. Really? Now they can do it they through blood and urine. It. Lasers and yeah, shit. Yeah, the Q-tip it. It was terrible. It was Hurts, right? I'm just right? imagining Q-tips huh? now. I'm Hurts, never looking right? at them the same. It's terrible. You piss, it piss hot for a while. Yeah. But I guess apparently, guys, I mean... 
dude, wouldn't that be weird? I guarantee there's a point out there where a chick's getting fucked in every hole. Urethra, yeah, fucking vaginal and wait, butthole. Wait. So I think it's urethra, right hole. Wrong. Is that like where, where it, the pee comes out? The pee comes out inside of that. Yeah, apparently that tiny hole by the clit, the which tiny, we all yeah. know where, is you, where the pee wanna, comes it, out. I want to interview that person and right? just like, like at what moment were you exactly, like fuck me in the pee hole? She's exactly how you think she would be, right? Very amateur looking, okay. porn. Very old, like older. I was gonna, blonde, say, I was gonna say older, leathery <gasps> Me too. skin. I was thinking that yeah. same thing. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Like, older. So it's exactly yeah. like that, where she's like- just tried everything, and nothing has worked, and she was just like, yeah. "I guess I'll fucking try this, right?" I feel like that's the game in the cam, the, the cam world too, because like AVNs are this week, and you know, probably some great actresses out there. But gorgeous. it's like gorgeous. I feel like all of them need like that shtick. Like what? Like that thing. I fuck mm-hmm. myself with a lightsaber. Yeah. It's yes. like, oh, you're lightsaber girl. girl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know. Otherwise, you're just like good anal. Yeah. You like, have to I lift a kettlebell with my pussy lips, and you're like, oh, you're the kettlebell girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taking the selfie. Like, all right, fucking good success to you. Man. Yeah. Well, you guys. Um. So, what would happen if you end up watching, you know, porn with this chick in it, and you've seen the video multiple times, and then you had to interview her? How would that make you feel? I wouldn't care. It's like acting. It, yeah. Yeah. Would a, you feel uncomfortable? We're asking for Tiffany. No. Because you're gonna be because I'm gonna guy be interviewing. That you masturbate to the all guy the time. that the guy not all the time. Chill the fuck out. The guy that I'm masturbating every single yeah. day. Oh, you're gonna interview every him. single day I'm, and night. So, yeah. What's his name? I don't know. I, his nickname's something. Small hands. Small hands on on Instagram. Does he have a big dick and a small hands or something? Yeah. I don't know. And like I don't super know. I, I haven't up. watched he has enough. A big dick. He's got a big dick. Yeah. I mean, I told my husband. I was like, hey, I'm just letting you know, like that. This, you know, that one thing that I tend I to think watch sometimes. Those, those, I'm going to be interviewing him. Yeah. You're going to find out it's going to be totally normal. It was like well, when we did episode. His wife, they too. may even be boring, like, right? No, that's like episode 100. Like, I yeah. were like, it's going to be so crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're there and you're like, oh, this is literally just like boring sex. Yeah, talking and, to a normal person. I mean, it was like person. an interesting experience, but it wasn't like, oh my God, I'm, so, I'm like, I'm in my 30s. Like, yeah, I've done it all before. Were they doing exactly. anything crazy for the episode 100? Or no, was it just they like were normal nervous sex? And, yeah, were they? Yeah. Except for the guy. I mean, the guy, the guy came was ready. like two times, right? Two yeah, or three? Yeah, he, he was, she was nervous, even though she was the one that was selling herself to be like more of like Oh, she was the one that was like messaging and being like, I'm down. And like, yeah, it worked. But you know what? They're both I, great. I feel like girls I think they hung out after. Sometimes. It was a little bit of a love connection. Yeah. Yeah, um, but I'm just saying, like, so even just in like the normal dating world, I've talked to a lot of my guy friends, and I don't know if you've seen this. You could tell me if you have, but sometimes the girls who will really talk really dirty to begin with and are very like, yeah. "Oh, I want to do this to you," blah 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 blah, are the ones who are won't even take probably a, finger a little bit more vanilla in, in the, the bedroom yeah. or like really nervous. Yeah, from a guy's perspective, if the broettes are listening, my favorite thing is like super classy girl where they're just like, "Hey," and you make a bad joke and they're like, "Ugh." And then there's that, it's like the whole, you know, freak in the sheets, uh, mm-hmm. good in the streets kind of thing. But like, and they're just like, fuck my wet pussy and take me. And you're like, you're like where did that what come from? Like, oh my God. Because like, it's so. When they come out of the yeah, room, you're like, it, oh, I could take you places. Yeah. Like, I could like dress you yeah. up. Like, we yeah, can go I've never Because I've never been in the girls that are like, yeah, you like it. I'm a dot. You will like it. <laughs> like, like, in front no, of other why people? are you talking like that? Do you, do you need like Advil? Are you having a stroke, <laughs> young lady? <gasps> Do you need an EKG to reset your fucking palpitations of your heart? I don't know, but why are you talking Uh, like that? Can you do that voice again? I like Like, fucking, uh, (laughs) like, like, uh, like, you like when I lick your tongue. Matt's still here. It wasn't a girl. A girl didn't come on. It's still Matt. I know. I'm literally getting drunk right now. No. I love it. No, but I like that too. That's how I think it should be. Oh my God, so, like, Jesse, we can, like, so hang out after this. It's been mean, great. Like, I told Matt I was going to, like, let him eat my butt, but there's, like, no way. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because I'm married and my wife does not talk like that. She is an intelligent <laughs> no, human. No, this is exactly. not your wife. This is not your wife. Yeah. You're just doing a random girl's voice. Yeah, she's amazing. Or she is amazing. Yeah. Because I've seen that sometimes, too. That what? Well, that I'm girls just, are. Yeah, well, you want them to be, you know, nice and polite and like, hey, maybe just, you know, you're at an event. They're being super professional. They whisper in your ear like, fuck me in the pussy. Like, you know, yeah. shit like that. And I mean, like, I don't Whoa. mind that. Like if you're at the airport, cool. it's like, like let's, let's go, go to the bathroom the, really quick. Yeah. Let's go into that family bathroom and you can change my <gasps> diapers. Yeah. Have you done it in weird places? Oh, so where's where Tiffany are... likes to do it in really dirty, like gross Not places. dirty, gross places. Every place I that had she sex says had been a dumpster disgusting. in Vegas. Perfect, right up your alley. She <laughs> loves it. Yeah, She'll that stop, was like, like six like, years ago. Wait, wait, wait you had it where? In where? In Vegas, here, here. Yeah, yeah. here? You it was had the it first shot show. Was, it was uh, no, no, <laughs> on, it was actually so very. So you guys con- standing up in the I dumpster. Can't this is why I shouldn't drink and shows. No, no. Uh, 
Don't worry. Yeah. No, it was Beep my it first out. shot show I had be- ever no, been won't. to, and I was kind of like in this open relationship thing, and I was just having fun. And then um, very cute girl was just like very forward with me, and I was like, ah. Okay. And she's like, let's get out of here. And I was like, yeah, but I want to hang out with my friends. And we're like, let's just go find a place. And we found a dumpster right outside of the club uh, and had sex in the dumpster. Empty. But you never thought this. How to dispose of a condom. Dumpster was right there. Right oh, my there, gosh. Sir. How convenient. And I was like, man. You guys thought of it all. But we had a, we had a couple walk by as I was sure. engaging in adult relationships. Right. And huh. they looked at us and then turned store forward and just started walking. I was like, Sorry. <laughs> Uh, well, sorry that, listen now that's Mother. dirty i do not have it in dirty places is that why I just we do put it in unique that? places are you well, into like weird places because i'm no, not, we're I'm not, not into really weird places, places but when the mood strikes we go I'm not like okay. on so inflatable she sees on the lake, lake or on a fucking island or no. like a truck stop yeah so you have to say where it really was in the so fucking like woods in the sand oh, on a rock in the woods I by a not, behind a gas station standing it wasn't a gas station you said there was no gas station there. It what? was a truck stop. Oh, I'm like, sorry. You know, was it my a bad. trucker or was it like someone you're my with? My bad. No, it's her husband. No, it's my husband. But oh. they just stop at these like dirty places we, that they see. They're that, not that, that dirty. Do it for me. They're unique. That's not. That doesn't do it for me. No, it doesn't either. But there'll be some times where we're horny as shit, and you know, it's like pull over or like, hey, we're the hanging out with our friends. Car that doesn't have like gas station syphilis. There's no, see, that's wait, exactly wait, 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 what wait. I said. I said that sounds like a nightmare to me. Shut the fuck up. There's no gas station. I said the sand. Who fucking has sex on the sand? It's not on the sand. You, know what you that's stand called? up. It's called a chicken cutlet. It's when your penis falls on the <laughs> sand and you put it back in. <laughs> oh my God, that's disgusting. Yeah. Like dredging it. No, there's, uh, do you not know? There's more than one sex move. We're not just doing missionary. I don't know don't what you guys like do. Don't act like I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> Sorry, you we're going to fight. Really, we don't fight. Do your thing. I love it. I you know, spill beer in me. We so fight great. sometimes on the show. Did and you? by the way. Yeah, that's okay. The what? <laughs> Nothing. He didn't do anything. He was just drinking. Are you hiding? He was just, why are you hiding you know. underneath this whoopee hoodie of yours? He was it is. And you can buy it at Black Apple Coffee. <laughs> he was just drinking his drink. He just got it in his, his mouth. Drink. Just like everybody does. Yeah. yeah. Nothing weird. Nothing, and nothing, nothing weird happened at all. I this jacket because it kind of makes you look like you're fat or have like an alien coming out. Is that? <laughs> That's why you want I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> it's okay. So, okay. So you did the videos. How did you end up starting with Black Rifle? How did you end up meeting Evan? Evan? Because I'm curious about that. F and Evan? She should read the book so she doesn't ask me these No, I... It's hey, in guess there. what? I'm now kidding, everyone's going to read your book. They should. It is really, everyone... really good. I will say that. And it's and not you, just Jesse. because you guys wrote it together with Ross, but it is really good. And here's the thing, too. We're going to have a lot of new. It's not just a bro at community thing. We're going to have. We have a lot Hopefully, of other listeners. We're going to cross too. Yeah. So the, it was very interesting how it worked out. I had a couple of different businesses. And then uh, Evan, Jared and I had two kind of like failed businesses that we worked on. It was just kind of like feeling each other out. And during that process, uh, Evan said, hey, what if I roast coffee for your apparel company, which was Article 15 Clothing at the time? And we launched a company called Freedom Roasters Coffee. It was 500 bags. Sold out on Black Friday in, or, or Christmas of 2013. December. And that was on the Article 15 Article 15 site? Clothing. Okay. Sold, and then we just drop shipped. So Evan was roasting coffee with a baby on his back with oh, his damn. wife in his basement on a one-pound roaster. Um, pretty, pretty crazy stuff. And everybody's response was like, I bought this for the commercial in the bag, but holy fuck, it's good coffee. Mm-hmm. And admittedly, at the time, I didn't know what good coffee was. And I was like, people like your coffee. I know, right? <laughs> and Evan was like, well, I had this idea for Black Rifle Coffee. I wanted this veteran owned. And he, he was really the, the genesis of the idea. Um, and then we realized early on, he didn't have a lot of understanding of like social media. And he was great at brand, great at all those things. And so we just kind of combined Bowers and... When I got to know Evan better, I, I just fangirled over him. He's such a hardworking asshole that mm-hmm. is insanely empathetic. So he's like a fucking dickhead. I like Evan a but lot. But he's the sweetest yeah. man you'll ever meet if you actually are a good person. Mm-hmm. And and since really probably 2014, I just had this like alliance to him that, um, I mean, I'll be business partners with him for the rest of my life. Can so. you tell yeah. him I said hi? Of course. <laughs> Why do you have that creepy smile? Nothing. I'm just you know who fangirls over hi. Evan's like the most loyal husband of all time. But like girls, fucking I know fangirl over Evan. They're Absolutely. Like, hey, I'm not best. I see. Oh my god, is that is that Evan Hammer? <laughs> and I'm like, he's got a mustache. He looks like a hipster. No, like, yeah. I don't know. It's because he doesn't even like. Tr- he won't like, even look your direction. Yeah. Doesn't no. matter who it is. So he's just girls like, will have like so... their tits out and like their yeah, pussies yeah, yeah. out. Hi, and they're like, "Hey, how you doing?" And just hey, walks cool. off, uh, and they're is like, there "Any business that, that I can do then. over here?" Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. They're like, "Wait, he didn't I look at me." I think that's what it is. But now also, he has to look at me. I'm, fr- you know, he's my friend, so I'm just saying, like, say hi to him. 
because like I haven't seen him. No, like uh, and just like say hi to him because like he's well, you friend. know his his bit there from Drinking Bros was him trying to steal you from Ross. Yeah, that's why yeah, it was a bit that, that like that yeah, um yeah, that's obviously why I was bringing it up. Did that make you and, like, uncomfortable? It didn't make me uncomfortable. <laughs> I really liked it. And then me and Jared like behind the scenes had this plan to like get married on the cruise and like have billboards like oh, wow. in Wilmington of wow. me and Jared or me and Evan married that like when Ross would drive to the office he would see it. So it was like a big Can we still do plan. That? I wanted to, but at the same time I was like, I don't see his wife on social media, so I kind of felt like even though it was not real Kate's in cool. any way, She's I cool. was like, I I don't know. Would I feel weird about that? So I just kind of like fair. backed right. off of it, That's right? Fair. That's fair. But it is totally a bit and it's totally a joke. And like, Evan's cool, but like, <laughs> and like, it's not even real, and everyone knows it's not. It's like, so just tell like, him I say hi. Yeah, tell him, I don't know. At, tell him because I like tell him at seen the him and, suite at the wind that he's, he's, he's and like really pretty through the windows. Yeah, <clears throat> and like <laughs> his hotel room is like great view. So it's like I don't, but that's cool, and that's good for him. You should um, tell Matt and say <laughs> what you said to Jared about she. So she's sitting there, and she goes, "You know what." Oh, I was actually going to talk to Matt about this. So, I, yeah. um, so I have this theory of why women find Jared ever attractive, right? Well, and you and also they, told him yesterday that you think he is. Yes. She's like, I find you very attractive. No, Jared? I said I could see how. Jared? No. Yes. She said. Yeah. I said I could see how people would think you were, right? Like, I get it. Like, you I were like, see it. You said in this moment, I can see why. Because you're. Like I scientifically, I can see it. He's you know not what I mean? a bad not looking guy. We, we've just you have to look that, at the yeah. psychological impact of six years of us talking shit, exactly. calling him fat and gross yeah. and all of that. Yeah, none of that stigma is associated with meeting for the first time. And and and, and as, as satirical and fake it is in our conversation, we love to play talk shit to him. He's not a bad looking guy. He's insanely no. talented. Mm-hmm. He's funny. Like there's he a reason doesn't he doesn't have a bad body either. It's just like no, we call he, him the fat. way that he <laughs> yeah. sits. He's he just got terrible posture. Yeah. He's yeah. like tummy he out, shoulders sh- in. Yeah. You take his shirt off. You're like, <laughs> he's like actually kind of jacked. Yeah. He's totally got big fine. shoulders. And yeah. you're like, oh, wow. So I get it. Cozy. But the point was that in the 90s, I'll ask you this, like 90s, late 2000s, there was this crop of bands like Limp Biscuit and like Everlast. Yeah. Where like. I think they were making girls think that guys like Jared were attractive. And smash we all mouth, kind of maybe. smash mouth. Like smash we mouth, all, yeah. Like the yeah it's been one, one way yeah, since you left me. Yeah, where we like. Why do I like this fat dude with blonde tips? Everyone's Bucket. telling me yeah. that I should, right? Like, I guess they're attractive. Well, they, they, they're all they lead singers of like. So I think that got imprinted on me. And so when I see Jared, sometimes I snap back to that. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, it's better than like the current like masculinity going on in Hollywood. True. It's like and fucking don't like beanpole it at all. skinny feminine dudes is oh, like God. what a man is now. And you're like, and listen, do you be who you want to be? I would never say you can't do that. Like, be gay, be a fucking couch, be a painting. I'm just naming things. Sure, in the but room. just don't, don't have, lamp. But don't like, don't affect my I, life with your. Shit. Well, not even that. I'm just like, I think masculinity is a good thing. I think being a protector and being able yeah. to lift some heavy shit and fucking kick someone in the face if they deserve it is awesome. Yeah. More people need to go back to that. I think. Um, but I'm an Same. old, I'm an old, uh, older chubby chaser. So well, we, we Jared like, uh, is both we like too dad, young. We like some too dad bods. Too you young to and too like small ripped. for me. He's not fat And the enough. big things too is like looks at the end of the day are going to fade. So you really want to be with someone for personality. Of course. For the way you love them, for the way they are. They right. And yeah. of course, like, you know, talent, you love talent. I yeah. like, I like when a guy can play an instrument or like, you know, he can do things well. Like that's very attractive. Yeah. That's another thing too. I like when a guy's like, he can play guitar and like owns a coffee company and yeah. like he can. I figured that you know joke I mean? is coming. Yeah. And, thanks. You know, whereas like we'll be We're jackets. Always- <laughs> Trying to get the joke out before the other yeah, one, you know, and it just, ends up like maybe I want to be on other. that billboard instead of you know <laughs> Evan Haper. Oh well, come on, come you're tra- on, oh, <laughs> you know you're hot. That's no. the difference. No. I'm getting older now. I actually I'm getting washed don't up. know. It's good. Your way. I'm getting Wait. old and washed up. It's good. You're not that no old. No one recognized me on the way. Yeah, no. Oh my gosh, he's no. gonna walk no. the floor later. He yeah, has to. You're just, gonna, yeah. I know. I just completely just, came on. Everyone's like, yeah, shot. Shot. Oh, sorry, guys. Let me put on my badge. I don't even have a black rifle one. I have Kimber, you know? Oh, really? Shit. Yeah, I'm the bottom of the barrel with this shot. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm old news. I'm, Nobody I'm 2014, wants him. bro. I'm 2014. Oh, no. It's okay. <laughs> 2014. Because I am whoever I say I am. If I wasn't, what I say I am. We really appreciate you. Mm. Mm. 
I'm getting ready to hear it. We really appreciate you spiking our numbers today. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we hope that we can. We're really glad Did that you guys cut me off on. right that quick. That was great. That was a great no, segue. No, no. No, I feel like. Not, no, I we're feel happy. like you. You really do have places to go. I'm not. You're not joking. I mean, you have shit to do, right? Yeah, we'll be good. But I do ask one favor from you. I want a selfie with both of you, and I want to promote your podcast on my Instagram. Oh, why are you so up. sweet? Just the story, though. Well, I'll tell you this. Um, when yesterday, okay. when Ross hit us up and was like, "Hey, Matt not on wants to post. be on your guys' podcast," yeah, it was we, very, both, we, we both kind of were like, "Really? Us? Why? Why?" Well, I'm gonna make it a little. This is awesome. Like, I'm gonna make it a little you. weird for you guys. Um, and, and the listeners, like, if I've known Jesse for so long, you are such a phenomenal actress. Like, I, I'm not yeah. joking with that. You are Thank fucking you. awesome. You are. And Tiffany, you're a Thanks. fucking badass. And you, you like, I, the fact that you guys joined forces, and I know that you worked through a lot of, like, hosts of who's going to be on the show, but, like, what a great deal. Like, I wish you guys the best. I'm stoked for it. Like, great Thank shit. We actually yeah, like each Thank other. Thank you. Great yeah. shit. <laughs> we do. Yeah. No, but, and no, and we when we do it. our short film, Ross won't be in it, but if you want to be a female <laughs> yeah. actress, oh my I'd gosh, love you I to would, be in. Or our actual movie. We're doing another movie. Just don't tell Ross. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like a long, long form. Yeah, like oh, a, nice. an hour or thirty, like a full feature. Oh, okay. Got but funding for it. Listen, they want they Ross. want the the famous one in your family. They yeah. want you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, pretty much when I look at the analytics and the metrics, I was like, Ross, okay, he's like a B celebrity, and then you're an A plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Jesse's and in. that's just fucking science. Do you know what I mean? And like, you can't <laughs> you deny can't, that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's been proven. I'm happy about it. Um, will you come back on if yeah. I see you again? You know, we've never Anytime. been on a podcast together. No, that's why I literally texted Ross. I want to be on it because I fucking thoroughly enjoy you as a friend. And I was like, yeah, me too, bro. Tip. Yeah, bro. We bro yep. man's hard. It's the beer talk. We bro I fucking hard, hate dude. You guys. <laughs> we bro hard. Yeah. Bro, bro. Well, so that we're was another get... thing I wanted to, well, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it on the next one. Yeah. What? We're, we're going to get right now to the drinking broette of, of the week. Oh, I bro-ette. know. That's so awesome. we've been having a lot of submissions um, come in and we want to make sure that we're getting to them. So this submission was from CJ Hayes and he wanted to go ahead and nominate their Ma Sherry. So at the beginning of 2018, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. She was put up in a, uh, she basically put up a fight going through a double mastectomy, chemo and radiation. So in 2018 in August, she ran the bell for her last radiation treatment. Everything appeared to be heading in the right direction, but this summer she started having some gallbladder issues. In October, she had her gallbladder removed and it was discovered that the breast cancer had uh, metastasized in her gallbladder, which is now extremely rare. Um, it was sure. also found to have spread to her eyes. Oh, my gosh. Um, so um, she has been battling all this ahead of her. Um, she has been or she could be the drinking broette. Um, it would really mean a lot to us. She has been the rock in our family, raising all five of us boys and providing plenty um, of love through all these challenges she's had over the years. She's been nothing but supportive through all of us and all of our endeavors. And um, anytime we always need to talk to her, she, we always have her ear. She's been nothing but amazing. We love you, Ma. So this goes out to their Ma Sherry. Love we're, it. Ho- like, Jesus. we're thinking of you. We're praying for you with everything you're going through. Thanks for being so amazing. I love so. the drinking bro or bro out of the week. But yeah. man, some of those stories are brutal. I know. I, know. I just got goosebumps. I, I know. I wish you the best, dude. That's, that's fuck. Especially Stay moms, strong, dude. dude. Damn, bro. I know. Because like. I know your mom's amazing, She's right? Rad. I know mine I too. Mom's best mom's. is the shit. When the moms go down, we're gonna have my that's mom. That's fucking on. hard. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Like when I die, no one cares. But like a mom. Like oh, that's... for sure. You. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna have kids? You want to have kids or yeah. not? No. Is that a long conversation? You don't? But yeah. No. There's no. Isn't that great? Do you guys I, already know this beforehand? I, mean, well, I told I her think... day one I didn't want to have kids. Oh but, well, there you go. Um, you know, but I'm sure the fraternal. What is it called? Clock. Whatever that is. The, the biological clock. You're good. Yeah, so I got, guys I got like can three, wait till yeah, they're like seventy. She's, well, she's twenty-seven, so yeah, like I give it like good. four years. You well, know, she's way sorted. You can freeze your sperm. You know, she can just yeah get it put in her. But really I think it's also on. okay to not want kids. Oh, absolutely. Like no, people great. always ask you, right? Like they're like, "Oh, are you in?" Yeah. And you have you feel like you I'm have too, to give I'm some busy. fucking answer, and it's like it's no, okay if I don't. Yeah, I want to be a if I was a dad. Like I like kids, I would be a rad dad. I think, but like I just don't. I, at this point in my life, I have so many other passions and, and professional careers I want to pursue that I just don't. If I had a kid, I'd just like 
probably stop everything and just be a dad and I don't yeah. want that so it's like selfish but not selfish no, in the sense that I don't want a kid yeah. so it works for you and I got all you fuckers have like all the kids seriously meanwhile Jared yeah, has yeah. Yeah, yeah so like all I can play them. uncle all day I'm like it's fucking <laughs> yeah, you're awesome good. that's like plenty yeah. it is and I'm a hero because I'm not a parent so I just show I up with toys and like yeah. I'm like want some skittles like Matt's the best and then when they, like, yeah, when they cry right. you're like and then you just oh, give them back go. to yeah and then they start crying I just give back the parents yeah you get the best the best of both worlds with it yeah but that's what I wanted to talk to you about that we didn't get to where it's like i feel like people probably are like you have you feel like you have to explain it to them and i kind of love if you if that you and noel both are just like no like i don't so when normally when someone says conversation doesn't need to go any farther oh yeah normally when someone says to me you do i don't want to have kids i'm like oh does your spouse like is your spouse on the same page and they're like oh yeah yeah it's like, oh, awesome. Good for you guys. Awesome. Because sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's like, no, we've been having these right. issues for a while. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. them. And she no, does. And well, that's so. That's it. Yeah. Bless, bless her heart. My Mexican fucking sister. Um, who's. What did you laugh that face for? She's Mexican. Who? She's been married to my brother for the last, what, 12 years or something. You have a Mexican in your family? Yeah, of course. Jesse, my brother kinda, married my, my brother. Mom was my, to my brother be married Amanda. Oh. She's absolutely amazing. We yeah, love yeah, her yeah. to death. But I, they're probably gonna kill me for saying this. But they got they hit a point in their relationship where Davis never wanted kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like, "Love you to death, but you're having kids with me, or I'm divorcing you." And Basically, Dad, and Davis was like, "Fine, fucking kids are stupid." <laughs> Kid comes out of the womb. My brother is like the most Loves rock him. star dad yeah. and ever. And so would you yeah. be. Yeah, yeah you would be a great cool. dad. And they're, they're like the best parents and everything for the kids. And, and so would cool. you. Yeah. But you are deciding not I'd, to. I'd and probably that's... give it away. You know? No, would you? you would not. You would be an amazing father. No, I you like know you would. Just I making like hot if babies for to. people, you and Noel, and selling yeah. them. Oh, my God. You guys oh, could totally do that. A genetic a genetic baby If you and Noel could sell You guys would make the most beautiful babies. You We're gonna have to hire more people. One turnaround is wow. every nine months. It's not a high velocity here. Listen, she doesn't have to have. All right, them. You so now we have, have them. You put them in a ton of. Surrogates. Oh, maybe we'll just manage the baby factory then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We so we have yeah, a yeah. lot of endeavors now. We have to find. We got this, Jared. Jared a girlfriend yes. for a party in March. I hope you'll come. And we're gonna in find Wilmington a ton of for his birthday. Cigarette. I'm booked Cigarettes. that weekend. I'm sure you're booked. Yeah. Um, what day is that? Booked. Yeah. Booked. Jared's yeah. birthday? Not coming. Yeah. Exactly. I hear you. Seventeenth, something like that. All right, Matt. We'll Thank let you go because you're super coming. busy. You're Thank super you. awesome. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Later. I'm going to go See sober up. Don't no, do it. Won't. No, <laughs> no, no, you won't. No, you won't. Keep drinking. All right, drinking. thanks, <laughs> Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't y'all better things to do. Yeah, go buy some fucking shoes.